Next up, there is a shortcut syntax that you can use in JavaScript for certain conditionals. It's called the ternary operator. It's a way of basically taking an if and an else and turning them into a single line of code. It's called the ternary operator because there are three pieces. Instead of binary, ternary is the term for three. As you can see, there are three pieces here. This is kind of the template for how you would read it. There's a condition and a question mark. So if this condition is true, this code runs. Otherwise, if it was false, this code runs. So let's take a simple example. Remember, this only works if you're doing a simple yes or no, an if and an else. So no else ifs involved. Let's say we have a number, let num equal seven. And if num is equal to seven, we'll console.log lucky. And then else, we can console.log bad. Okay, so here we have a simple if and an else. We could rewrite this entire thing on one line if you wanted to using this syntax. We have condition question mark. So the condition is num equals seven question mark. Then the code we want to run if true, that will go there. And then the code we want to run if false is separated by a colon. So question mark and then a colon colon console.log bad. Just like that, I'll comment out the original code, refresh the page, and it still works. We get lucky. Let's change it to two. Ah, we don't get lucky. Okay, back to seven. So we've taken this logic and just written, written it as a single line. That doesn't mean that you should always do this. Even this is getting pretty long for a ternary, mainly because of these console.logs but I'll show you another example, slightly different, where we could actually use the ternary operator to assign a value to a variable. Let's say we're making a chat app where you can set yourself, you can set a status to be online or offline. So we'll have a status variable and set it, uh, let's go with offline to start. And then we want to have a color that we use to, to show like a little bubble next to your name, if this is a chat app, a bubble that is either red or green. So it's red if you're offline and green if you're online. We would have a variable like color. And if we did it without a ternary operator, we would do if status equals offline, then we would make color equal to red. And then else color is equal to green. So we could write it this way, or we could do it all in one line. So I'll keep that there but I'm gonna comment it out. We could rewrite it as let color equals and then our ternary operator. So the piece of logic is status equals offline question mark. Then one value would be red. That's the true part. Remember condition expression if true expression if false. So if true, we want red. Otherwise we want green. And now we've rewritten this entire thing in one line. So this is a pretty common use case. If I run it, we get red for color. If I change this to be online or really anything else, we're only checking for offline at this point, we'll see that color is now green. So it's a nice shortcut. It can be kind of odd uh, if you're not familiar with it, which is why I wanted to show it to you now while we're talking about conditionals. It doesn't do anything new. It just can shorten your code up. So here is the original. Here is the second version with ternary operator. We have a condition, question mark, something that happens if the condition is true, and something that happens if the condition is false. So the if and the else. That's it. There's no room for else if. It's just a yes or a no. Do this or do this.